nine Americans lose a parent before they reach the age of 20. That's according to a survey by the National Alliance for Grieving Children. And because an event like that is so devastating, three quarters of those children remain distraught years after their loss. Well, now a local group has found a unique way to help children learn some better coping skills. 11 News Education reporter Tim Tootin joins us live in the studio with more. Tim. Well, Donald, the Seasons Hospice Foundation is using a fall camp held over the weekend in Baltimore to reach children ages 5 to 13 who are trying to cope with the deaths of loved ones. It was a scene etched in the minds of children after a gunman went on a shooting rampage inside a Connecticut elementary school. But dealing with the loss of life hits closer to home for children who lose loved ones from gun violence, a tragic accident, or a terminal illness. These are for the kids. That's why a three day bereavement camp called Kangaroo held this weekend is so critical for two dozen Baltimore children from throughout the region. Jean McHale is director of supportive care for Seasons Hospice and the camp's organizer. We hope at Camp Kangaroo this year to bring children together in a safe environment and create a safe place for them to express their feelings. The kangaroo camps have been held in cities across the country to help children deal with the effects of death and dying, an issue that's often too difficult for adults to handle. I think some of those questions can be real stumpers for, uh, for parents, and uh, sometimes they're, they're at a loss. Uh, um, and common responses can be, um, you'll get over that, or, or we'll work through that. At the camps, trained counselors help connect children to positive peer groups, honor their lost loved ones, and move through their grief. We're hoping we can help them learn about death and dying and grief, and then most importantly, help them learn how to take those strong feelings and emotions and develop healthy coping outlets with those. Those children will leave there knowing they're not alone, that they have, they have people that uh, talk like them and run like them and play like them, that all ha also have grief like them, um, and they'll become a team. A team, especially in school, what well, children say it becomes even harder to concentrate after the loss of a loved one. The registration is over for this year's camp, but to learn more about the camp and concerns about bereavement for children, log on to our website, WBALTV.com, and check out Education Alert. Live in the studio, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News. Thank you.